Hi, everyone. We're going to get started in just a couple of minutes um, to allow for some people to join the line. Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Uh, we'll get started in about a minute. All right, I think we're ready to get started. Um, so good morning or afternoon, wherever you might be, and welcome to today's Topline webcast, Sales Intelligence for Life Sciences and Healthcare. Um, we have several speakers today. Um, first up, we'll have Ellen DeRico. Uh, she's the Director of Global Market Development of Life Sciences and Healthcare with ClickView. And then we'll have um, three of our own principal consultants, uh, Matt Stratton, John Dempster, and Bob Dodds. Um, so with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Ellen. Thank you, Mona. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar around um, life sciences and healthcare and, and sales intelligence for these areas. Um, I'm going to start off today and give you just a little bit of an overview of uh, ClickView and ClickTech. Um, but first, I want to start for those of you on the phone that may not know what ClickView is. ClickView is the product that Click provides, and ClickView is a business discovery platform. Uh, business discovery is what is termed user-driven BI, and you may have heard the term Gartner uses data discovery, which also is defined as user-driven business intelligence. Our, our mission in life is simplifying decisions for everyone everywhere, and I'm going to share with you a little bit today on how we do that and, and how that impacts life science companies. But first, before I get into that part of the presentation, I get really excited talking about ClickTech and clock, talking about ClickView. And so this is our legal disclaimer, um, and basically what this says is if you get excited about us too and you go out and buy stock, um, I'm going to be saying a lot of forward-looking statements, and you're buying the stock at your own risk, so please do your own due diligence. And for those of you who do your own due diligence, I just want to make you all aware our earnings call is also tonight, so you can actually listen in at 5 o'clock tonight and hear about how we did in 2013. But up until 2013, we've done very, very well, and this uh, graph represents that we've had a compound annual growth rate of 36% as a company since 2006. We've been steadily growing, even in years where we've seen market declines like 2008 and 2009, because ClickView solves problems for people, whether they're making money or they're not making money. We help you answer every decision um, that you have, and we help you answer each, each uh, question that you have to ask. So ClickTech in the numbers, we have over 30,000 customers worldwide in 100 countries, uh, 1,500 partners, and again, the 36% compound annual growth rate since 2006. 
And what ClickView really does um, that makes us different is we really are tipping the balance uh, to deliver maximum decision value. So what that means is instead of just being a picture, a visualization, or a reporting tool, um, we are an interactive software that allows you to diagnose and analyze and discover in your data uh, more information and to continue to ask the next question and the next question and the next question that doesn't just describe what your current state of affairs are, but, but starts to help you discover why you're seeing what you're seeing in your business. And the way that's done is through a very unique um, patented data association technology. If you look on the left side of this um, slide, you'll see how traditional business intelligence visualization tools work. They, they're pretty hierarchical in structure. Um, they're very rigid. Um, it's forced down linear drill paths. And when you have a question at the bottom here, to get to the next answer, you have to first go all the way back up to the top and then come all the way back down again. Or you have to go back to IT and ask them to modify and to create a new report. And it's really hard to do what if and on the fly analyses. It's very limited because the questions are predefined and the structure is predefined. But if you look at ClickView on the right side of the screen, you have freedom to explore your data from any point in, in the analysis. And you don't need to go through a hierarchy or a chain. You can actually jump around in any direction on, on the fly and in real time. You can easily ask any question you wish to ask and then drill in a different direction, not just up or down, and, and very quickly see the connections and what's associated with the selection you made. So when you ask a question and you make a selection, you'll see what's associated will be in white and what's not associated will be in gray. And the reason that's important is because sometimes you make the biggest discoveries in the stuff that's not associated with the question that you ask. Because you'll say, I wonder why that's not associated. You're going to see more of that in some upcoming demos, so I'm not going to talk much more about that, but I would like to share with you why ClickView uh, sustains value and has staying power in the current um, business intelligence market. Business discovery has a very fast time to value, and, and it shows everything that you would see in any kind of visualization tool or any traditional BI tool, but in addition, it, acts, it lets you dynamically share information and collaborate with each other and be able to drill in any direction and see more information that you're not able to see in the other systems. So it continues to add value because you're able to ask the next question and the next question. Some of the drivers of the click view difference is, is, first of all, natural analytics experience. And what this means is the ability to drill around and the freedom to move around is, is based on the human instinct to want to explore and to look in all different places and to, to um, wander and, and the freedom to do so. Um, and, and that's natural. What's not natural is when you're forced or constrained into a certain path or a certain way of doing things. So the natural analytics experience is very much part of what ClickView delivers because you are allowed freedom to move in any direction you want and ask any question you want. The association and visualization yield true uh, discovery of your data and the ability to see things that you might even question that, that don't associate. Um, the speed to value and rapid prototyping is all about how we've designed our products so that you very quickly can clone things and make new objects and new pages and very quickly prototype uh, new um, applications and, and use cases on the fly. It also um, has an application development model so that you can reuse all these objects and you, that provides agility and focus. And we have a strong governance package as well. With our acquisition of Expressor, we have governance in, in place so that um, in IT you're able to very easily manage um, your rollouts and implementations and understand how people are using the product. And that gives you a lot of flexibility uh, for your users, but it also keeps the control at the center so that your data is, is monitored and controlled for the regulated industries like life science and healthcare. Now let's get on with a little bit more about life sciences, pharma, biotech, med device. There's some major global trends right now in the marketplace, and, and these have not changed much, and many of you know these trends much better than I know them, uh, but I've been watching them now for 30 years, and what I've seen is we continue to, to consolidate. We have mergers and acquisitions, in and out licensing. Just this week, we, there was a $25 billion acquisition of Forest Labs by activists, both of which are customers of ours, and so we're seeing this continue. We also see increased regulation, not only in clinical and reporting compliance, but also in sales and marketing. And today's uh, presentation is going to share with you a lot of different information around sales and marketing. Many of you are aware with aggregate spend and sunshine laws and acts um, to report uh, spend per physician, this is really um, getting more and more important in, in our business. 
Also mobility. Um, with, with all of our needs as human beings to have mobile devices in our, in our free time and in our personal lives, we've been bringing our devices to work, and mobility has increased um, tremendously in the pharmaceutical and life science businesses, um, tablets, smaller portable devices, phones, etc. Also, we see a lot of new emerging business uh, models in R&D and in sales and marketing to try to uh, fit in better and, and increase profits and, and revenues despite the, the increased regulation and some of the challenges that are out there. And, of course, globalization, offshoring, outsourcing, and insourcing are all still continuing as we become a more global economy. We see extreme and increased price pressure uh, with some of the patent cliff um, issues and some of the other things that are happening. Uh, there's always a, an extreme pr price pressure. And with globalization, we see that you can get drugs for different prices in different countries. So this has also been something lately that a lot of people have been looking into with ClickView. And we have a changing healthcare environment. These are your clients. Your clients in healthcare are changing. Funding is changing. Behaviors are changing. And accessibility is a real issue for physicians. So if we look at um, some of that data, um, some of our friends at Digitus Health and Manhattan Research put together a study over a number of years where they looked at uh, the physicians and their, their adoption of technology because most of us in the United States are aware that um, many of our um, hospitals were on paper-based systems for so long until uh, some of the meaningful use things came forward with the, with the um, new acts and new uh, legislation in health care. Um, but what we didn't know is, and then what we always assumed was that may, maybe physicians were laggards in accepting technology. But that's not that's 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 the, as far as you can get from the truth. And that's what this uh, data in the study shows. This data in the study show that physicians were actually more rapidly adopting technology than than consumers all the way up in 20, until 2010 when Apple introduced some of its more user friendly technology, and then the rest of the consumers got on board and started adopting technology as well. Uh, but physicians were actually adopting technology. If you recall the movie Caddyshack from the 1980s and Dr. Beeper, um, they, they've been adopting technology way before most other people. So they're actually driving some of the changes in life science companies. If we look at the top ten solutions in life sciences, what we see here are some of the areas where ClickView is most readily used around executive dashboards and scorecards, around regulatory compliance and drug safety, specifically around pharmacovigilance and reporting, Sales automation, physician and patient anal analysis and targeting, these are the big areas we're going to be talking about a little more today. Um, also product and portfolio management, clinical trial management, financial management, supply chain, supplier relation management, contracting and revenue cycle, and manufacturing intelligence. So these are our top ten solution areas for life sciences, and today we're going to explore in a little more detail sales and marketing. So if we look at in more detail some of the sales and marketing uh, use cases, we actually have had a lot of our customers using us across the entire pharmaceutical value chain, but specifically in sales and marketing around uh, patient analysis and targeting, physician analysis and targeting, product and brand management, patient and physician marketing, sales performance management and sales improvement in terms of um, increasing um, efficientness in the sales organization, and sales and revenue analysis, as well as contract managing and pricing and territory management and assessment and planning. These have been the big areas for us around sales and marketing effectiveness. And just to give you a kind of in summary, uh, some of the uh, companies that are using ClickView, and this by no way means all of them, actually all top 20 of the top 20 pharmaceutical companies are using ClickView, and we have over 500 life science clients worldwide. Um, as I mentioned before, over 30,000 customers in 100 countries, many of which are life science and healthcare customers, and we have dedicated uh, ClickView life science personnel globally. We also have the fastest growing uh, user community with over 90,000 customers on the user community asking and answering questions every day and helping each other with new use cases and ways to use ClickView. So it's a really exciting time for us, and uh, we've been growing uh, steadily ever since um, I can remember here. So it's been really great. And uh, with that, I want to say thank you for your time, and we'll be available for questions at the end. And so now I'd like to introduce my colleague, uh, Matt Stratton, who's Principal Consultant of Business and Decision North America. Matt? Thanks, Alan. And hello, everyone. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Matt Stratton. I'm a principal consultant in the business intelligence service line here at BND. And I'd like to further expand on some of the points that uh, Ellen was, was showing you and also talk a little bit about the typical problems that, uh, that we see or issues that we see with some of our life science uh, customers. 
I also want to share with you how BND can leverage its experience and uh, with life science companies, plus also experience with ClickView to help solve uh, a lot of those problems. But before I go through the rest of my slides, I figured it might be good to kind of give a little bit of background on how I came to be uh, involved with ClickView. And so a couple of years ago, a few years back actually, I was working for a pharmaceutical company who was also a commercial lab. And you know, I was in the IT department doing some application development, doing some business intelligence reporting, that kind of thing. And we had uh, ClickView come in, and they did what's called a SIB, uh, which is called a Seeing is Believing session. And basically what this is is, is a short two-, three-day type engagement where they literally took the data from, from one of our systems and created a quick dashboard. And they turned this thing around, I think, like I said, it was in two or, two or three days. And what we saw when they came in and presented it was something that was just, just blew us away. I mean, I, there's no other way to say it. You know, I was hooked at that moment seeing that, you know, we weren't going to be spending necessarily months building data warehouses and creating, uh, you know, a bunch of reports. There was this great tool in front of us that could pull this data in very quickly and, and be able to solve, solve the problems that we had. So I was, I was hooked, so much so that we fast forward a couple of years, and now, uh, you know, I decided to move on into a consulting firm where I could then share a lot of my experience using ClickView in a life science environment to solve problems for, for some of our customers. So to t let, me, let me give you a quick background on B&D, uh, the company. You know, we're more than just qualified uh, ClickView consultants. We're, we're actually a leading firm that provides solutions on the ClickView, ClickView platform, but we, and we've also been given the distinction of the ClickTech Global System Integrator Partner of the Year for 2012. But it's not all we do. So you can see on this slide, we actually have a few areas that we can provide services, um, including ERP and regulatory compliance, which obviously is important for the life science community. We can also provide managed IT services so that you can focus on the business of your business and let our, our company take and host your, your, your systems and, and manage that. As I mentioned, we're a global consulting firm and we operate worldwide. We've got our headquarters in Paris, France. Uh, we have our North America headquarters in Wayne, Pennsylvania. So we're effectively able to provide a follow, uh, follow the sun set of services to life science customers around the world. <clears throat> but today I want to narrow it a little bit and talk about some of the successes that we've had here in the U.S. with some of our customers. In fact, one, one customer in particular I'll go over. Uh, my colleagues will go over a few other projects that we've done on, with other customers. But this particular customer that uh, I've been working with for the last, I think, two or three years, it's a medical device manufacturer. Uh, they also sell and distribute their product. And, you know, they're running a healthy business. It's, you know, around $2 billion of revenue a year. They've got 5,000 employees. Uh, they've got seven or more plants around the world manufacturing, uh, headquartered here in Southern California. I'm actually out of San Diego. And, um, you know, so they're, they're doing pretty well. But when we came in to help them, we were asked to come in and help them with their quick view deployment. You know, they were facing many of the same problems that a company that's been operating for, for a few years might have. You know, uh, and this company in particular, you know, they had, they had a few mergers and acquisitions over the years. And so what they ha ended up having was a collection of information systems that, have, you know, how do I say, it was, it's a diverse environment. You know, it, it's not just a, a single system that, that they, they have working there. And so when we were brought in, um, you know, what we, what we saw we were able to help them with uh, was a few things. First of all, as I mentioned before, you know, we, we, are click, we do provide ClickView solutions uh, and platform uh, deployment. But we also were, because we're a, a broader company, you know, we were able to help them, uh, for example, do some, some validation on applications, also help them with their... Oracle Data Warehouse helped them with some of the Microsoft 
FBI stack that would help support not just ClickView but other areas of their business. And so the slide that I'm showing now, on the right-hand side, this is just a sample of some of the solutions we did provide them inside of ClickView. You know, over the two and a half years that we've been working with them, I think we've deployed somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 different dashboard type applications. And so, you know, as Ellen was mentioning, there's many of the common areas that uh, that ClickView will be used is for things like executive scorecards or working with the finance group to provide a dashboard or working with the manufacturing groups or working with regulatory supply chain or what I'll focus on in the next few slides is the is the sales, field sales, sales off, executive reporting or management. Um, but one thing I actually do want to point out on this is you know the power of what the power of ClickView really is. You know what we find is when we go into a customer with you know they either they have existing reporting or it, you know this is a new thing for them. We find that there's usually a step one, and the step one is getting them to where they're asking to be today, which is they want to be able to report on the information they have. So we help people, we, we help customers get there, but then this is where the fun really starts. We get to go beyond that, which is the next step, which is not just reporting on the information, but literally acting on that information and interacting with it. So let me give you an example. For this customer, we provided them a solution that allows them to do lot serial number track and trace. And what this is, is basically, you know, they have inventory out there. There may be a field uh, corrective action that they have to go through where they're going to pull some product back. And they may only have a little bit of information to go on. And they may have raw materials that are involved that ca are causing some problem. And so this particular customer, I'm going to fast forward to the next slide. This particular customer is, is not unlike many, many larger customers. Um, you know, they have all the usual suspects of technology. They have uh, multiple ERP systems, multiple databases from Oracle or C SQL Server from Microsoft. Uh, they have cloud-based solutions that they're using. So really a big collection of, of, of different information systems. So what we were able to do with ClickView is put that in the middle and be able to pull everything together for them. And so within this track and trace solution, we were able to tie together, I think it was seven different ERP systems, and use that data to help them be able to track this inventory. We literally helped them go from uh, being able to research information which may have taken them uh, days to weeks, possibly months, and we were able to actually, with the solution, bring that down to hours or even minutes. So as you can imagine, um, if you've got product sitting on a shelf and it's about to be sold, you don't have weeks to find that. You know, you need to find that now. And with ClickView, we were able to do that. We were able to give them a solution that mitigated, you know, the cost of, of having to deal with that, but also reduce the risk to patient health, which is uh, ultimately what, what I think most life science companies would like to do, is reduce that risk. So how can you get to that point? You know, as I mentioned, the IT group that I was in, I think we were pretty typical. You know, we were a fast-growing company. We had um, plenty of projects to do, many initiatives, and probably no time to do that, right? And I'm sure many of you if you're in the IT group, you feel you feel that pain. You know, there's there's plenty to do. Uh, there's usually a diverse set of systems, limited budgets, scarce staff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this this is this is where ClickView can help. It's it's something that allows users to really drive that BI. You know, uh, whether it's through wizards or shared objects or the user-driven creation of new new sheets in the in the application they're able to do a lot of self-service for themselves so they can get that information. And IT can provide them with the basic connections or, or the information and then let them run with it uh, as appropriate, of course. So ClickView, it's, it's not really, I wouldn't say it excludes anything because it doesn't, really complements uh, the other technology as part of the integral uh, roadmap. So let me jump into one of the solutions that we, we helped them with. Uh, they have a, had a field sales group, and they were about to launch a new product. 
And this new product is revolutionary in the heart valve uh, industry. And, you know, the, the trouble that they were having from a BI perspective was they're launching a new product, which meant they don't have any data to report on. They don't have the BI tools that they would need to help manage that, that rollout and ultimately manage that, that product. So, you know, they, they, they were running into a few, a few problems there. Um, one of them being that they needed to have the systems, the BI tools, in a very short turnaround time. Uh, they also needed data that was not available in the traditional data warehouse that they had, and also they needed it in a frequency that wouldn't fit within a, a reload, overnight reload for a data warehouse. And one of the most important things was they wanted to use an iPad uh, versus using a laptop. So with ClickView, the great thing was we were able to help them with a dashboard and using what's called ClickView Publisher to be able to pull in information not just from the data warehouse, but also from a cloud-based uh, solution that they had. And we were able to pull it all together, and we were able to do it in a short short time frame. And as we moved through the process, we delivered a first release and then iterated to a second and third and, and continued with that. But we were also able, because we weren't strictly limited to the data warehouse, we were able to actually do frequent frequent updates. And then the last part is just something that ClickView gives you out of the box that, that, that they're able to use is collaboration. So when I was when I was preparing for this presentation, I was looking for screenshots that I could show, you know, how how to collaborate, what ClickView can do. And the moment I saw the one that's on the screen now, it hit me. You know, it was like within one second I looked at the at the map and I had one question. And, and this is showing sales of or uh, prescriptions, uh, written prescriptions. And what I saw was there was nothing happening on the west side of Manhattan. You know, it was it was literally within a second I just saw it. I wasn't asking the question. Um, I wasn't looking for it. I was just looking, you know, if I was a sales manager, I was just looking to see where our sales and how they're doing. And that was the thing that struck me. And with ClickView, the great thing is, is you can have this spatial analytics. You know, in this example, I believe it just connects with Google Maps. But there's actually other add-ons from companies like Esri that allow you to do even more with with uh, with the spatial analytics. But the great, the other great thing here is that out of the box, ClickView gives you the ability to attach notes to these these charts, and not only attach notes, but you can take a snapshot, basically a bookmark, and have that be part of your notes. And then you can, you know, keep it to yourself. You can share it with specific people, or you can let anybody who can see the application see see the notes and and be able to basically have a discussion on this information. So it really allows you to stop having to, you know, copy and paste information, screenshots, spreadsheets, and email, send it around, and then have to manage, you know, what's the latest version, and manage all the comments. And it definitely reduces the need to have to go and dig into email and find the information again. You know, it's all encapsulated. It sits right here with the information. I mean, what's better than that? And by the way, this is the, this is the uh, ClickView Pharma Sales demo. I've provided the link, and you'll be able to uh, get get a copy of these slides. And you can actually go up and interact with this demo on the ClickView site and see how this actually works. So the next solution that we helped them with was with their sales operations team. Uh, you know, their primary problem was that they were having difficulty managing the customer consigned inventory. This is inventory that they literally keep on a client or a customer site, like a hospital, and it still belongs to them. And when the customer needs to purchase a new a new medical device, they can just literally go grab it and go into the operating room and and take care of the patient. So as you can tell, or you could see, if you've got sales reps going out, um, you know, and people pulling stuff from shelves, how, how do you manage that? Well. They were doing it originally in paper manually, but that obviously has some limitations. Uh, and they recently implemented uh, WaveMark for for being able to do RFID scanning of the equipment. So they got that level. But what they needed now was the ability to see, uh, you know, what that what the inventory levels were on the shelf, and more importantly, what the expiration of that inventory was, so that they didn't have a piece of equipment accidentally get used 
when it was, you know, expired by a few months. So, you know, they ran into the same problems. They had a lack of, of being able to integrate the data sources automatically. So they ended up having to manually pull this information together every day. They had to pop it into reports. They were creating their own spreadsheets to use the supplementary data. So they spent a lot of time preparing reports rather than really analyzing the information and taking care of, of the inventory for the salespeople. So what we were able to do with, with ClickView is a couple of things. One, we provided them with a dashboard where they could see the information, they could see the expiration dates, they could see things that were going to expire soon, and they could work with the salespeople to make sure that the next time they were out there, they could go ahead and pull uh, those pieces of equipment so that they didn't get used. The other thing we were able to do is, with ClickView Publisher and ClickView in general, is we were able to leverage SharePoint, which is the Microsoft uh, Internet technology, where we were able to have them, instead of having these spreadsheets all over the place, keep them in a document library. And within this document library, which is a web-based document library, they were able to maintain control over it and also have uh, versioning on, on these spreadsheets so that they could see what changes were being made, which is great for audit trails and being able to show uh, why things are changing or at least who changed it. And with ClickView, because it can connect not only to traditional data sources, you also have the ability to connect to web-based data sources in the cloud or, in this case, to, to SharePoint. So the benefits of this solution were that, you know, we're saving them time because we're automating a lot of the work. Um, they had better control of the consigned inventory because they could see it. They could see the levels. Uh, they were pulling in wave mark data that would tell them that, and they would also see what was going to expire. But they also had this, this uh, ability to do some self-service or user-driven BI, as Ellen was talking about. So what they, were, what they could do, and this is just an example, again, from the pharma sales demo, is take an existing chart, which I have here on the top, and, you know, we're looking at information by doctor, but the team maybe wanted to look at it by zip code. And so what they could literally do is clone it, go into the properties, kick out the doctor dimension, put in the zip code, and boom, they've got the chart that they actually need. No new, they don't have to request a new feature from IT. They immediately get what they want. They can share it. They can use it for themselves. And, you know, boom, they're done, which is huge. The other thing that they could do is they could create whole new sheets, create whole new charts. They don't necessarily have to clone something, but if they're enough of a power user, then they can just create their own, own solutions on the fly. And the beauty is, of course, then they can share it. So before I pass this off to John, um, I want to share, share with you one, th one thing about this particular project. Is Once we finished it, we were sitting down with the customer and they had uh, some more requirements that they wanted to go through and have us uh, go ahead and develop. We, um, we sat in, the, in this meeting, and they, as, as they talked, I realized that, you know, one of the things they wanted to do was remove some of the steps from, from a reconciliation process that they were, they were doing, you know, copying information into a spreadsheet, you know, which you can do with ClickView. You can export to, to Excel. But what I recognized was that all the data that they, were, that they were managing and the way they were changing it was all available within ClickView. And within a couple minutes, I was able to just show them how they could create their own chart and remove this, this daily process of 30, 45 minutes. And to be honest, everybody, everybody in the room looked around and just their eyes were wide open, totally amazed. And again, you know, it just, that's another example of the power of ClickView. So what I want to do now is go ahead and pass this off to John Dempster, who will go through uh, another one of our solutions. John? Thank you, Matt. My name is John Dempster. I'm a principal consultant with Business and Decision. And today I want to talk a bit about a pharmaceutical client who's been using ClickView since about 2012. Um, the client has a mature ClickView deployment with over 10 applications in production. Uh, Business and Decision has been involved in the development and deployment of all 10 of these, plus several proof of concept applications. Uh, the client has a user base of approximately 700 employees and plans to expand this number to over 1,000 uh, in the near future as planned additions in terms of applications and data are rolled out. Today, usage is mainly within the sales and marketing teams as applications are focused primarily around the comparisons of market share and uh, share volume amongst products in the market space. 
business's decision has helped this client build out their installations both of ClickView and in printing, which we'll talk about. The original landscape that the company had looked like it was a very normal landscape of source systems feeding data into a consolidated uh, data warehouse and then present, presenting that data through either Oracle Business Intelligence or a series of over 20 Microsoft Office reports. Um, the, while this setup is fine for basic reporting, the replacement of the Microsoft reports with ClickView um, provides both uh, business and discovery capabilities as opposed to simple reporting. The presentation of the data in the form of Microsoft Office reports uh, posed challenges in four areas. First was the effort. Um, there was time spent on the management of periodic report delivery. This required both internal resources and external vendors. So the management of source data, whether it was delivering that to the people creating the reports or making sure that the correct source data was being used in the reports that were being generated and time spent on the management of quality control where the manual nature of the report production required a high level of ongoing scrutiny. For cost, uh, with multiple resources producing reports from the same sources, there was a duplication of effort that res resulted in a duplication of costs. Timeliness, the manual nature of the reports coupled with a high level of quality control activities created delays of publication and accuracy, the manual nature of the reports, once again, uh, increased the risk of errors and data inconsistencies between the reports. So the solution uh, was focused around replacing the Microsoft Office reporting with a ClickView and imprinting solution. Uh, ClickView applications were deployed to replace the reporting with a platform that enable users to uh, not only report, but also be able to analyze the data and discover new trends within the data. For presentations that needed to stay within the Microsoft Office suite, and this mostly was PowerPoint reports that were being, um, that were being used in presentations, uh, imprinting was deployed to replicate those reports while providing a repeatable, auditable, and efficient mechanism to automate the production of the reports. This is a screenshot from the sample ClickView Pharma sales application. While this is not the application we built for the client, it has a simpler but a very similar flavor to it. Um, here we can see that there are multiple metrics such as volume and market share, and we describe those by dimensions such as time, market, product and brand, this prescriber, and call priority. Um, an application such as this enables field representatives to focus their sales efforts by identifying which products and locations are not producing as they should and focus their efforts on those items. Also, managers are able to look over time and trends with specific territories uh, and prescriber segments to gauge the effect effectiveness of their sales and marketing strategies. There were some ClickView features that we used uh, within, when we were building these app applications, and I'd like to talk about three of those. The first uh, was mentioned earlier in the presentation, and that is the coloring of selections within ClickView. ClickView has a built-in function, coloring functionality uh, that identifies dimension members that are and are not associated with current selections. So upon making a selection, <clears throat> you will turn an item green, and then members across all the dimensions not associated with that selection will turn gray. So here in the screenshot, you can see that there's one part that's, that's circled uh, the dimension of territory has been selected. The item selected is green. Everything else is gray. Uh, but this happens across the rest of the dimensions. So here I can tell by choosing the territory of Yorkshire, I can see that it contains no 5% discount pharmacies. Down in the very bottom chart, you'll see that 5% is actually grayed out. To see your current selections, you, you can always look at a current selections box, which is a component within ClickView um, that will show you what has been selected, what has not been selected. And this really provides the ability to identify relationships in the data, what is connected and what is not connected. Another item I wanted to talk about was search functionality within ClickView. 
If you're looking for something within ClickView, you can use a search component that will allow you to search across dimensions. Here the example is showing you where I've typed an E into the search box. You can see multiple, multiple dimensions and multiple dimension members that are displayed that have that start with the letter E. What you can also see is the coloring applies here. So there are three of those items that are already grayed out because they are not applicable given the current selections that we have within the document. And another feature is fast change. Fast change is a great feature which allows the user to inter interactively cycle through multiple chart types for a given set of dimensions and facts. So I can build a chart once and build it as, say, a, a regular table, but I can cycle to a bar chart or to a pie chart or to a pivot table or any of the other types of charts that ClickView supports. This way you don't have to replicate on screen multiple objects showing the same thing. You can allow the user to cycle through them, saving yourself real estate and development costs. I also wanted to show a screenshot of imprinting. Here is a report. This is a sample off of imprinting's website, but we were able to create several PowerPoint presentations for our client. Um, they produce template uh, PowerPoints. Those were given to us, and we were able to populate this, those presentations with ClickView data in such a way that made the tables editable to allow them to enter manually supplemental information that they needed to enter. Um, this, uh, this, as we'll see in the outcome, it was a huge time saving for the company. So as far as benefits, um, effort. Moving the reports to a reporting platform reduced the effort associated with the report production. Um, quick views refreshed on a periodic basis through an automated process, eliminating, eliminating any manual report production. Um, it is sourced from the data warehouse through ClickView, which eliminates the, um, the uh, transmission of data for report production. And it produces a process that is repeatable, auditable, and efficient. As far as cost, internal and external resources were now freed up to work on other projects instead of spending their time on manual report production and, uh, and presentations. It also uh, eliminated some of the duplication of effort that was inherent in the report production as reports were being built off the same sources for different purposes. As far as timeliness, presentations are now ready upon the completion of a refresh process, making them available faster than before. And accuracy, the automated nature of the reports decreased the risk of errors and data inconsistencies between reports. As far as the outcome of the project, we took 100% of the Microsoft Office reports and retired them in favor of a click view or an imprinting solution. Um, I've got 50% under the next one. All of the presentations were actually moved into imprinting um, with new data additions to the model. They are, uh, we will actually be expanding out what is, uh, what is shown in those reports and what is populated by ClickView, hence the 50%. Um, imprinting has cut the field sales time spent creating the reports by an average of one and a half hours per field rep. There are about 80 field representatives, so this equates to 120 person hours per month. With the planned addition of the data to the ClickView model, this will actually double and save about 240, hour, 240 person hours per month. Um, and the ClickView applications are now tailored to the users in terms of both ana uh, analysis and visible data. So when a user goes in, as opposed to getting a generic report that has everybody's data on it, users see only their data, the, the data they need to see inside ClickView when they log on. With that, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Bob Goss. Thank you for your time. Great. Thank you, John. Um, my name is Bob Goss. I, like John and Matt, I am a principal consultant with B&D in North America. Uh, I'm based out, out of Philadelphia and have been working with a medical manufacturer for um, since 2012 or so. So uh, I have a couple examples of solutions of solutions that we've provided for this uh, much smaller company than, than the large pharmaceuticals that we just talked about. 
Our medical manufacturer has less than 250 employees. It's uh, somewhere between 50 and $100 million of annual revenue. Um, and they create sterile barriers uh, for medical devices. Um, they have approximately 25 ClickView users, and their solution includes both ClickView and, in, and, and printing to distribute reports to additional management that uh, are not ClickView users. As a uh, smaller company, they, they have a uh, smaller ERP in for visual. Um, they use SQL Server, Access, Excel in their reporting. Uh, they don't have a data warehouse to speak of, and they had minimal business intelligence when we came in. Basically, they relied on the reports that came out of their, directly from their ERP system. So our solution um, covered a bunch uh, of several areas, including sales, finance and accounting, inventory management, and then what we'll talk about today here is material management and manufacturing planning. So in the procurement process, uh, the, the procurement people uh, ran material planning reports out of their ERP system, which would use uh, relatively um, a basic set of rules for planning when work orders would be and sales orders would be completed uh, and therefore driving material plans from that process. The result was a 100-page green bar report that the uh, procurement person would go through with a highlighter and find, area, find issues when new material would be needed. Uh, it was a slow process. It was a tedious process um, and not very efficient. Um, and only worked based on having high-quality people that knew their business well. Um, our first step with ClickView was to replicate what the ERP system did. For example, um, the procurement team was very comfortable with their process and would not have any faith in a ClickView or any business intelligence solution until we could show them data that was matched the world that they know. So we started with a simple report, simple to the table, that would show for a given material what, what inventory is available, what the safety stock levels are supposed to be, um, and all the work orders that are and purchase orders in the system that would consume or re replenish that material. We have projected quantities that we would be, we could do the math in our click view scripting that would show after each work order, how much material would be left. At the very least, ClickView was able to um, use highlighting of a report. We could highlight the report for them, i.e., we could quickly show that it's when the projected quantities would, would go below their safety stock levels. Now, that's step one was just replicating what they did. Now, with the power of ClickView, you can then add intelligence, and rather than sifting through every material, um, we created more. We created reports that would show them what they need to show. So, we, since we know when orders would consume materials, we could we could look and know how much material we expect to have have at that time. We can. And we know the lead times available with parts, all in the ERP system, we can then have a relatively straightforward report that says, you're going to need to order this part, this first part, four months ago. So obviously that's a problem. They can then drill from this chart into other work order charts to find out what sales orders are impacted uh, and what customers need to be notified that, the, that their product may be delayed. It can work as a tool for the purchasing people to, to know what to focus on without having to sift through 100 pages of paper. Uh, and it was met uh, with open arms. A second challenge um, that our manufacturer has was just in scheduling of the work orders. Um, again, the ERP system was was 
somewhat rudimentary with how it could um, do planning. It, of course, has an advanced planning module that that um, that that can is much more powerful. However, it's also relatively expensive um, to purchase and implement. And based on our our research, um, may have questionable return on investment based on a high risk project. So as a result, they had manual processes and spreadsheets in order to know when work orders would need to be created to fulfill customer demand. Again, the timeliness was slow, the accuracy was questionable, um, and customers generally were not happy. Furthermore, it made the manufacturing process inefficient. Um, work orders would be plugged in at the last minute. Uh, salespeople or the, the squeakiest wheel would get their work orders um, processed faster, um, jumped into line, and manufacturing would not be able to efficiently manage their uh, processes. So where we went with ClickView, uh, one of the quickest charts that we were able to make was uh, a simple bar chart, combination chart, to, to show the workload uh, projected into the future. We can we have work we have want dates on our sales orders and and all the work orders associated with them have hours tied to how how long we expect the setup and run time to to be for those work orders it's simple aggregation then to to aggregate by week the number of hours that we expect to have to run through our manufacturing process we gave our customer service people the ability to enter in uh, the target number of hours to work every week based on running five crews or six crews or if there's holidays, they can adjust it in a spreadsheet. It's very easy for them to maintain. Uh, ClickView is very good at reading in uh, data from multiple areas, including spreadsheets. And we have a simple, a, a simple and elegant chart that basically allows a customer service person to make sure that the bar – these, the total hours to be worked, which they just call the bar, um, is appropriately stacked against the, uh, the target hours to be worked. When it's not, when there's too many or too few, they use ClickView to drill into the work orders that are in the system. So we have a work order details chart. This is just the first quarter of it. Um, but this shows uh, key information about the work orders that are in whatever selection that they've made. So they can see the original want date that the customer had. They can see comments that customer service has put into the ERP system. They Work orders that are flagged as rushes are shown in blue. They can see which parts are supposed to be made. They basically have all the information that they would need to, to d deal with scheduling um, priority, prioritizing really. Um, so that they can go back into the ERP system and update the want dates as needed. So as this is really step two, as they get, as customer service gets work orders into the appropriate week, they can then hand it off to the manufacturing process, which owns scheduling specific work orders for the next two to four days uh, to specific resources, specific machines that they have. So we have simple charts that show by day the target number of hours are shown in bullets and the total number, number of hours expected to work are in uh, the green bars. They, they can see the specific work orders to the right, which shows how many days it is to the want date, the WD. They can see the status of the work order, whether it's been firmed or if it's released. They can actually even if a work order hasn't been released to them, they at least can have some visibility that it's in the system and may appear urgently into their world. Every, every Twice a week, our customer reviews these charts with a team of manufacturing um, and customer services just to make sure that uh, they have the pri priority set appropriately for their plans. Uh, we can then have simple reports that om that mirror what they get out of their visual, visual system, but are available um, and can change immediately with their plans. We can show them the material that uh, essentially a pick list, the materials and quantities that they need 
um, for their manufacturing runs for a given work order. We have additional reports that will even show them where the existing inventory is um, by serialized numbers. So through that process, um, they, they have greatly improved their customer service and communication within themselves. We talked first about the procurement process was improved, that, they're, um, that they found that they are not running out of materials as much as they had previously. They are not having to do rush orders on materials to get them delivered the next day. Um, and their manufacturing process is, is the manufacturing team gets to prioritize work orders within the confines of a couple days so that they can run like materials through their machines in consecutive runs rather than start one material for a specific run, go get different materials for another run. So their manufacturing processes are more efficient. And through this, through all this, we've seen improved gross margin. They, they're obviously doing many, many things in their operations to, to improve their, improve their um, operations, but ClickView certainly has helped them see what they need to do uh, to, to start being more efficient, and it's helping their bottom line. So with that, um, we have time for just a couple of questions if, if there are out there, and uh, I'll hand it back to Alan. Hello, yes, I have a few questions here, um, but most of them were regarding connectivity on the system. A couple people lost uh, audio, and I believe that's either been resolved or addressed, and if, they, if it hasn't, they won't be able to hear me anyway. So I don't have any other questions right now, um, but if you have questions, if you could please submit them through the question screen, that would be great, and I will watch as they come in, and we'll give it a couple minutes. Alternatively, since I'm, I'm not seeing any questions come in, if you have any follow-up questions, if you can please send them uh, to the folks at Business and Decision, then uh, we can triage the questions and get back to you via email. And so with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for jo joining today's session on sales intelligence for life sciences and healthcare. I want to thank all the other presenters uh, for their work today and, and Mona for hosting the call. And thank you for the opportunity to join you on this call today and share a little bit about ClickTech and ClickView for life sciences. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.